Yo, 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 what's going on everyone? It's TK and we're back with Super Witches and the Maxed Fireball Warden ability. And we're gonna see how this Smash Army works out in general. So without any further ado, let's dive in. All right, we are here and Mateo has shared a few replays for us to watch this Warden equipment maxed out, of course, with the Super Witches in the Legends League. Now, one thing I, I gave him the army, of course, but one thing I told him not to take was the poison spell. Because, well, if you didn't know, you can actually take down the clan castle building with the maxed warden ability and one earthquake spell. But is this what is going now? I don't know, but that loon might actually pull the CC. Hold on. Oh my god, CC. Oh, it's super archers. <laughs> now, unfortunately, Matteo is not a pro player, so he's not really high up in Legends League. But I appreciate him, you know, doing these kind of videos for us in the channel so you guys can take the best advantage of it and learn a few strategies with this new Warden equipment. Now, what is he gonna go for? Because this is a few Teslas. He might mess up the Warden pathing. I don't know. Um, Warden for the gold storage. He's gonna, I think, wait and wait. More CC, more Super Archers. Oh my god. He's gonna Earthquake and boom. Holy. Okay, he missed the Earthquake on the Monolith. Now, did he want the Monolith? I don't know. Maybe he wanted the Monolith, but he missed the Earthquake. So we never know that. But the Flame Flinger on the right side will actually get him a lot of value. That is an insane Flame Flinger. Now let's go with that. Funnel Troops, of course, on the left with the Yeti and the Wizard. He's going to go in with a Warbreak to give this, you know, King and Witches access to the next layer. Why are the Super Witches already half HP? I didn't see that. If you guys see it, sorry, my bad. Okay, two of them unfortunately go out. He's gonna rage early. These healers are gonna heal the big boys and the Electro Titan, which in the core of a ring base is on another level because there is always four ground skellies on the town hall. He's dropping the RT on the left, keeping that witch alive, trying to get that cleanup as well. But the Flame Flinger on the right doing amazing job. King went through the town hall with those big boys and the Electro Titan. Queen is still fine, you know, having a lot of HP. King's Gauntlet will demolish this side. And, you know, in general, if this was before update, imagine the King Gauntlet being bugged. Oh my god. Thank god they removed that because that would be unfortunate for every single base man. But the king going into the last area of this base will help for that royal champion getting tanked, you know, of course, from that ground expo. And the RC ability with the haste vial is going to demolish this base. And good thing is, sometimes you may be low on time with this attack strategy because it's a warden walk. That's why the haste vial on the royal champion can help you out a lot on the back end. Usually you might not even need to pop it, but in this case, so popped it to clean these defenses and clean a few buildings ASAP. He's gonna go in and get the triple. Let's move on to the next hit, see what base style he has. We're here on a box base, interesting, with two single infernos, okay. We got an invisibility spell on the town hall. So that warden with the ability, guys, you can also take out the town hall. I believe if you pop the ability and um, one earthquake, because I saw the blueprint video, I think Hooked did maybe three shots after the earthquake and the ability with his warden. So he did three shots of the warden to the town hall, and that's when he took it out. But unfortunately, when there is invisibility towers on the town hall, you are not able to do that. And that's why I think Matteo is going with this kind of funnel on this side, but where is he gonna pop the, you know, ability? I'm always interested to see, like, where is the place he wants to pop it? If he pops it on the Archer Tower, he's gonna get the Warden Tower, maybe a few defenses, but I think he don't really wanna pop it there. Maybe on the Bomb Tower, hold on. Oh, but if he pops it on the Bomb Tower, he might not get the Ricochet Cannon. Okay, is he going to Expo or, okay, I think he's gonna pop, oh my god. Hold on a second, what a beautiful funnel. This is where kind of the zap spell would give you the funnel with the super witches, right? Like you zap in front of Warden Walk and he's gonna pull the Warden. Maybe it was a bit too early. Oh no, the expo locked to the... Oh my god, that expo was really low too. Unfortunate there. He has super minions in this army. I didn't tell him what CC to take, but I think super minion is a good choice. He's gonna go in with a Warwick giving the heroes and also the super witches access to the town hall compartment, yeti to funnel them in, but don't forget there's an invisibility tower behind the town hall, now does that even target, like kinda cover those builder huts, oh it does, oh my god, no he didn't know it does I think, oh his town hall is gonna go invisible, 
Oh my god, he's gonna jump be be like after sorry the town hall going in with a queen ability now. Okay, or um warden got in front somehow. I don't know how, but okay, this is not looking as clean as the last hit. But how did he get this triple? There is fifty percent of the base. Okay, King's Gauntlet go off. He's dropping a few loons with the Royal Champion on the left. Useless Wallbreakers really, to be honest, didn't need it. But the King's Gauntlet carried that entire side. And this is why Double Jump is now giving Queen access to the entire base. Like usually with the Super Witches, you only have one jump because you're taking the Zap Spells. You have less of those, you know, Rage Spells. And this is why, I mean... Honestly, the army looks so balanced. It looks so enjoyable for those who do the smash armies. Even myself, I think I'm going to consider running this because you guys know me. I love the super witches. If you're on the Telegram channel, I've done a few super witches attack in tournaments, especially. And also, I've done a few super witches attacks on YouTube. So, I think you know me by now. I like super witches. But this army is looking crazy. The royal champion again with the haste while going to clean the back end. One super witch is live with two big boys so very nice job by Mateo getting this box space which I would say it was a bit toxic the defenses were close by single infernos and of course that invisibility tower on the town hall but let's move on and see what is the next base layout all right we're here and Mateo is on a diamond base okay interesting base I'm looking like he can't really go for the town hall you know because yeah, it's impossible. You can't get the tunnel when there's an invisible tower behind it, even with the warden equipment. You need a few shots, and um, maybe the invisible tower will go off if you pop even the warden like equipment on it. So you won't even need to kind of you can't sorry go for the town hall. And yeah, he's gonna go with a nine o'clock area. Let's see, baby drag on the top side. Okay, okay. This loon is going to pull actually. Uh, you know, seeking air mine. Nice, a Sam. What should we call it? So. Let's see, flame flame. Oh no, he dropped the flame on top of the archer tower. Oh, that's unfortunate. He needs to go in with a freeze. That is just unfortunate. Warden with a rage is gonna go ahead and take out this kind of ricochet cannon. But when is he gonna pop the ability? I'm thinking, I'm looking at the eagle side. If he pops it on the mortar, he won't get the poison tower. I think he's gonna wait to pop it on the eagle, get the nice perfect funnel on the nine o'clock area. That's what I think is gonna happen because Flame Flinger giving him really nice funnel as well on the top side. And what I would also recommend is the Flame Flinger with this army. You don't really need much thing else. And by the way, for those who don't think this is a max warden equipment. So let's see. Nice warden on eagle. This is where, yep, earthquake, amazing, amazing. Guys, always drop the earthquake first. Gonna pull the warden now. Let's see with the king, which is he's gonna go with the yeti on the left. But uh, yeah, it wouldn't be enough. This is a late funnel. The king is going to go unfortunately to the outside. He's gonna wall break in a nice junction, get the king back in. And by the way, this first race for guys is always for the healers to get those witches full HP or king or any kind of smash army you use. This first rage is is so important. I learned that from Hook. That's why I'm giving you the tip for it. And I think Mattel also watched the blueprint video because, yeah, man, those healers under the rage spell is absolutely insane how much they can help you out. Look at the witches. Man, they're not going down. What? Like, we have no warden ability for the entire attack. Guys, think about that. Like, the warden ability not being used is basically something that you would never have thought of happening in Clash of Clans. That's why, like, these armies are a bit interesting for me. Like, look, we got two witches out of three. How are they still alive going through a town hall and all that damage with single infernos or multi infernos and the invisibility towers royal champion ability goes off and he crushed this space with two super witches alive two heroes alive and multiple healers hopefully you enjoyed the way Mateo showcased this strategy i wish i would have maxed the warden equipment on my own account guys so i could show you these like with multiple strategies i don't really want to kind of bother Mateo that much but still he came up with a good strategy to showcase you how the super witches would have worked hopefully you enjoyed this video come back tomorrow for more i might upload a few sweet lalo attacks so see you then take care and peace